Hey, Keely. Hi. Hello. Oh, hi, Gary. What have you got there? These are solar panelled headphones. Really? Yeah, so I can listen to the radio on the go. Solar powered? That's pretty cool. Well, you, I know you're really into the environment and stuff, so tell us a bit about that. Well, yeah, I am really into environment. I think with um, all the printing, photos and documents we keep doing, we're using a lot of energy and paper. And right. um, I'm trying to do my bit to help out. I think you're doing a good job there. And I do remember you once mentioning about whether or not you should switch your computer off or just put it into standby. Yes, yeah, so I looked into this and we're both right. Switching off is far better. And um, you also said there's some advantages to switching it off. Yeah, when you switch your computer off, it does a bit of tidying up of files and stuff like that too. My computer also does its updates then. Hmm, that's true. Yeah. So, what else is there? Well, I actually found out when you do switch your computer off, it's still using some energy. I borrowed okay. this device and found out my computer's using two watts Why it's switched off. I've, I've got one just like that, actually. Well, I did say I borrowed it. Right, OK. Uh, got anything else of mine that I should have back? Um, no, I think there's only a few things you already okay. know about. OK, so two watts, that's, that's not a lot. Well, yeah, that's only for the computer. And um, you forget the monitor, the scanner, the printer. And that starts to add up. If you times that by the amount of people in the street, then you're wasting a lot of energy. That's very true, actually. Um, so what do you do about it? Well, I've started switching everything off by the socket. Oh, that's a pain. Well, it didn't bother me that much. And then I discovered an IntelliPlug. What an IntelliPlug is, it's a device you switch into your computer and it detects when your computer switched off and switches off all the equipment attached to it, like my printer, my scanner and my speakers. That's really good. What else do you do? Well, I switch off the TV um, by the socket and not using the remote control. I didn't realise how much energy it did. I also unplug my stereo and my charger. You do loads. Do you do any of that, Gary? I do, actually. I've got energy-saving light bulbs all through my house now. Well, I've noticed that, Gary. That's a really good start. And did you know in Australia it's compulsory to have energy-saving light bulbs and you can't use regular ones? I did hear something about that, yeah. And also, in the US, if everybody changed their three normal light bulbs to energy-saving light bulbs, we would save enough electricity to close 11 power stations. And in the UK, if everybody just changed one light bulb to energy-saving light bulbs, we would save enough power to close down two power stations. Now, you were involved in the Lights Out London campaign. Can you tell me a bit about that? Londoners were encouraged to switch off any non-essential lights between 9 and 10 on the 21st of June. Now, they did something in Australia about six months ago, and I think that it shouldn't take such a big campaign for people to switch off. Did you switch your lights off? I did. You did remind me earlier in the day. Well, trying to do my bit. Is that it for power options? There's still other things that you can do. Like what else? Well, the power management options on your computer. Um, if you change the settings on there, it can actually, when you're computer's not in use, put it into standby or switch off the monitor. On a PC, you would go into the control panels and on a Mac, it's in your system preferences. OK, that's really good, except that people put things into standby and they don't know how to switch it out of standby, so they should check the manual for that. Or they could just try pressing the power button. Wicked. Well, there are other alternatives for power, like um, solar panels, which you can have on your house. Right. And um, there's also devices like this one I have here, which um, can power your phone, your iPods, and normal everyday accessories on the go. Right, now the only thing about that is, don't you need to do it in daylight? Like, I come home and I want to charge up my phone, and, well, it's dark. Well, that used to be the case, but now it has a rechargeable battery inside it okay. that um, actually charges, and you can use it any time. Oh, that's quite handy. Well, I've got all of these gadgets here that I think um, I need powering up on, like the iPod, and I've got my PDA, and I've got my BlackBerry, and I've got another PDA here. So, yeah, I could actually do with a few of these, I think. Gary, that is disgusting. You do not What's need wrong? all of these gadgets. Why not? That's for listening to music, that's for communicating, and that's for communicating another way, and that's for keeping all my diary notes and stuff like that. Well, we'll have to discuss this another time. I'm sure there's another option we can have instead of having all these devices. Are you suggesting I get rid of all of these and then I can go and buy another gadget that does all of it? Yes, probably. Great, I like that idea. Anyway, we'll save that for another time. OK, right. Now, there must be some other ways that we can do things with our computer to save the environment. 
Yes, there's printing. Um, oh, yeah. Printing, we could probably print double-sided, depending on your printer, and also yeah. print a lot more to the page. When you go to your print setup, um, in the properties there, you can click to print double-sided or to print more to one page, and also recycle the paper after you've used it. All right, now that, that's really useful. You mentioned there about printing more than one page on onto a page. Doesn't that like shrink it down and make it hard to read? Um, no, it doesn't. If you have it in a normal size font that you can actually read, oh, right. it will just put it all onto one page. So you can have double siding and say two on each side. So you're like quarter of the amount of paper that you're normally using. That's correct. You know what, I think I'm going to go and try that actually. That sounds like a really good idea. And you mentioned recycling as well. Yes. Okay, well I do that already. So if I'm going to start saving some energy and helping the environment, I need to do things like switching my computer off, add the mains, same with the TV and things like that, um, using the control panel to put it into standby, some solar panels and printing double sided and as you said printing two on a page. That sounds really good, I'm going to go and try all of that. Well Keely has taught me loads about being more environmentally friendly with my electrical devices and I've promised her I'll have a look at all of my gadgets and see if I can get rid of any. Now, if you want to know more about Green Issues, please see our website, www.bitemetv.com. See you next week and thanks for watching.